hello guys so, uh, in this video i will tell you about the uh, floating action button on scroll uh, if you want to hide the uh, pack button uh, right here if you want to hide on scroll then do watch this video so i'm gonna uh, hide this floating action button if you see this plus so let's hide it on scroll i didn't code yet so let's do it so what gonna uh, I'm I'm taking one variable as visible. Initially is false, and we need a scroll controller uh, for handling the list view. If you uh, had uh, some more knowledge about the list view, okay. So I declared two uh, variables. So okay, fine. So okay, and uh, uh, visible. <coughs> so from the init state. If you know uh, this is the, the life cycle of the flutter so uh, the init state works uh, initialize uh, at the first time that you initialize the application or you initiate this page to open okay that that time in your uh, init state will be called or uh, if you want to know more about this then click on the link i uh, pasted up okay so let's make it final as well okay so uh, we have the scroll controller dot add listener so i'm just uh, making the visible or invisible uh, to this for now so just uh, have it so if the scroll control of position of user scroll direction means uh, if we gonna move this scroll direction dot reverse if you want to uh, make it reverse so if that visible is true then make it false because uh, we are moving to uh, reverse okay so i made it final so just remove the final okay, that's it and in else part we have to check the if condition as well if we move forward right so just right here forward and if we move forward then we are gonna hide this right so if this visible is false then just make it true. that's it so this is all uh, code of the basic uh, uh, score controller uh, how we how we uh, hide the floating action button on scroll so for the floating action button i am using some animation uh, if you are interested in the animation part as well so i am using animated scale and in animated scale it basically shrink and expands okay so the scaling the size will be uh, expanded okay so I'm making the duration of uh, uh, let's say uh, millisecond of 300 and basically it uh, to have the scale option uh, how much uh, do you want uh, to scale scale it right so on visible uh, basically if it is visible then make it one or zero that's it so this uh, gives the idea of the scaling uh, to the floating action button on scroll okay so you have to restart because uh, uh, for the init state it will work uh, on the scroll direction and uh, one thing you have to remember you have to append this scroll controller to the list view by giving the controller right so this is a list view uh, as you see here so so let's restart once start so initially it is false that's why uh, it is hidden so if i make it so oh it doesn't uh, visible as uh, expected because the set state uh i forgot to use so set state is necessary to update the widget right so just use the set state method and again restart
okay so the fab and the list view is right here so if you see uh, the scale animated scale works as I scroll forward it hides okay then if I scroll reverse then it becomes true I hope uh, this code uh, is enough to uh, get you so if you have any doubts let me know and uh, let's have the another animation of the floating extended so it will be really very cool to look uh, to see so let's have the icon and the label of let's say text of uh, create or add let's create okay so this is uh, basically the create so I'm gonna using uh, animated slide right now uh, it just it didn't contain the scale uh, basically it asked the offset so basically the offset is uh, is something out of line okay something uh, do you want to have the end duration type right so offset uh, let's uh, let's give this some uh, offset if it is visible just make that offset uh, zero because we have to make it visible right so offset will be zero and let's put the offset of uh, if it is not visible then uh, 0 to 2 because uh, 0 determines the um, I mean the x axis and 2 is the y the first element x and y axis okay you have to clear with it or uh, offset right so if it is out of line what we have to do what we have to set the offset right so animated slide uh, it is a required parameter okay so I think it's done let's control s okay it works as expected uh, so this is the animated slide basically okay so if you see uh, the I mean I have to add some opacity so let's have the animated opacity as well uh, make it the duration of same 300 and basically ask the opacity uh, if it is visible let's say then we have to make it one because it is visible either way see you can make this animated opacity to the fab uh, simple floating action button as you wish so it looks uh, I mean pretty cool so yeah this is the code uh, if you want to refer uh, use this okay uh, and thank you for watching this video if you have no doubts let me know in the comments and uh, yeah keep learning thank you